somebody called Yale, I've never heard of before. So it's, it was the best, the best time of my life. Happy Good Saturday. Morning. Before mm. we go any Good further, morning. can I say please like and subscribe to us on YouTube? Oh, yes. yes. And like, like and follow us on Facebook. And follow yeah. us on Twitter. And don't yes. uh, and please Ooh. follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> is it, yes. it is a it is a rosy weekend, isn't it? This weekend. Oh, it's I glorious. And do you know what? What I love about this point in my week is this is the first time I actually see myself because basically the other half and I have taken down all the mirrors in the house. It's rather like Elizabeth really? the first, oh. Elizabeth the first in her twilight days when she didn't look into the you know the glass or whatever. So yeah, we, we've decided we can't stand our reflections anymore. So this is, where, this is the only oh. time. This is the only time I catch a little look at the old weave. The great news is, ladies, whilst we have to wait until July fourth to get tonsorially tickled. Clemmy the cockapoo, as we speak, is at the dog groomers. Oh my oh, god! Joy. That's good news. I good did. News. Ask, I did ask for a twofer, but uh, sadly, it wasn't forthcoming. <laughs> I know. Can Social I go to the cockapoo, please? <laughs> yes, indeed. Exactly. So there we go. So, so that's my breaking news this week, ladies. Apart from the fact I've renewed my British gas safety certificate on my mum's flat, and oh. uh, yeah, I mean it's it. it, it Oh, oh look, 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 look. Richard. We, look, we have production. Good morning, <gasps> Richard. sent this over. Oh, Dickie, you <laughs> did. So I can broadcast from my shed. That is I fantastic. The oh, beautiful Dickie's thing. Dickie's dead. Beautiful it's thing. A beautiful thing. It oh. is. Kind of no answer to that, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, Richard, you told us to have photos this week, didn't you? Yeah. You did. did. Now, what did. did you actually mean when you said? photos well every photo um I obviously tells a story or, or has a narrative around it and i thought it might be a nice whilst we're hunkered down to to press the nostalgia button as we've been doing over the few okay. recent weeks but um Good. that's a picture that means an awful lot to us yes. um, or, or, can i, I go first story? can i oh, just yes. say i can i just <laughs> ask i i heard it as singular <laughs> with a lovely memory that's how I understood you, Richard. Oh, I didn't understand him. I just think he thought you meant any old tarty photo. So, yeah. <laughs> so Jerry, Jerry, I gather that you've got an absolute gallery of pictures for us. Oh, um, millions. I'm going to start with something that's very close to my heart because this is the boy who I loved all my life. Oh. And he's, oh. he's left me now. Oh. But... Oh. Um, and and I'm just showing you how beautiful my brother was. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, he's stunning. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. That's when he was really a model. stunning. Yeah. And so um, I'm. I just. I'll have to put him face down now because I can't keep looking because. No. Nope. So anyway, nope, the next down. one is this is how beautiful I was once upon a time, and this is me when I just left Rada and I was 21. Wow. Unchanged, <gasps> darling. You're. Unchanged. I think you look. I think you look the same. Absolutely. Just that's, awesome. that's my I uh, first that's... spotlight photo. I think you look, better now. you look better now, Sherry. Yes, I do. I paid you to say that, Debbie. You know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, but I think you do. It's very Thank Kate you. Beckinsale. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. I'm just going to go quickly on because I know there's more to this than me. This was my first day on Coronation Street. Oh my God. God. Oh wow! Amazing! Wow. Funny. Look at that hair. That is brilliant. <laughs> You've always had good hair. How ridiculous do I look? I mean, that's all. So then, this was we talking about this the other day. That was me in Crossroads Camp oh, Crossroads. Brilliant. Camp <laughs> Crossroads. Do you remember that, Richard? Yeah, <laughs> I was. On, I came down on set for that because the first time I ever met you, Sherry, you, you were in Coronation Street, and I interviewed you and your lovely daughter for Inside Soap magazine. That would have been um, sort of yeah. early to mid nineties. Always, yeah. Like yeah, wow. and uh, and the Crossroads reboot. When was that? Late was that? Two thousand and one to two thousand and three. Yes, my wow. goodness. And the last but not least, which was London Studios, which isn't anymore because they've all moved. This was me in the Russ Abbott show. Now you've got to find me. I'm Janet Street Porter. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Can you see me? The oh, yes, you left. Yeah. Second on the left. Yeah. Yes, I had. Oh, yes. 
I had the, te I had the teeth made and everything. <laughs> and then one day walking down the corridor at London weekend, I saw Janet Street Porter coming towards me and Ooh. I dived into the men's loo <laughs> to hide. <laughs> I was terrified <laughs> that she would realize. And then when I worked with her on, um, on loose, she went, I oh, know you did, I oh, know you did. I, I still hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't, that's my gallery for today. So I won't oh, do it anymore. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Girls have a chance now. Now follow that, girls. Follow that. <laughs> you go. Richard, Richard what's yours? Well, I, I've only got, I, I've only got the one. Well, actually, no, I have two. Um, uh, and, and one of them's not so much a picture, it's more of a, a memento. But I just wanted to take you back to uh, 1990, given the fact that we're all locked in currently at the moment, albeit with a loosening yeah. of restrictions on a weekly basis, which is all great news. Um, I thought I'd show you a picture of um, when I got the key to the door, so to speak. <gasps> Uh, so Ooh. 21, do you remember that? I mean, obviously we're of an age no, where no. Keith, when you, you, don't, you don't know that <laughs> phrase. No, I don't, don't remember, remember 21. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Edinburgh University and uh, they've stopped this scheme now, but um, there's a scheme called the Erasmus scheme at the time where you could go and you're away for three or four months into a, a university. And uh, I was offered either Groningen in Holland or um, Amsterdam. So <laughs> obviously I picked Amsterdam. Uh, and I went there to study for a few months. Um, and this is the result. This is me unleashed, having finally got the key to the door. Look oh, at oh, that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, now, wow. I did, oh, I did dye my color. hair. Yeah, I yes, did dye my hair. hair it a, <laughs> I know, there's a lot of it. I and love it did it. go a little bit ginger, because I did that I thing. I'm sure, I'm sure we've all been... I'm sure we've all been guilty of it. And um, you know, yes. when, when you used to have that little box of hair color, and I remember dyeing yeah. my hair for the first time as a student. And so you did, I did a little strand test, as, you, as you're told to do. And then, of course, being a boy, you get a little bit impatient. So I thought, right, I'll just dye it, accelerate the process. I got an old Victoria wine bag, and I sort of put it around the top of my oh, head. And then, of course, hey. got caught on the phone for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and when it came off, there was Andy Warhol. And of course, you know what it's like, you can't dye it back. You know, no, you no, try, you end no. up you end up ginger. So um yeah, that, that was me, the Hacienda Tot, all of that living in Amsterdam. I do speak a little Dutch now. Oh in Kleine Beetje. That was pretty yeah. much it. But what's really <laughs> weird is um I, I didn't realise this until obviously I went. It was just an excuse to get to Amsterdam and get out of Dodge, really. Um, even though I was a man of letters. And uh, there's a, a building called the Bunga House, which is, or was, the English language department because Amsterdam University was uh, a leader in phonetics, the study of phonetics and uh, linguistics, etc. And uh, so I ended up going there, as I say, for three months. That same building now is a Soho house. You oh know, my the goodness. private members club. So I went That's back funny. there to that building for the first time. Oh, it would have been about, oh, about a year or so ago. And it's bizarre because they have to keep so many of the original features. It was like going back to college. Only this That's time you could hysterical. be legitimately hammered in the building, even though it costs you a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 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 it was funny. wonderful time. One other thing I've got framed, which um, I, I thought about a lot this week because um, I had an email from the lady herself with um, many years ago, probably about 14, 15 years ago, as part of GMTV's <coughs> Get Up and Give campaign, which was when we sponsored younger, um, or smaller, I should say, charities, unsung charities, if you like, rather than the, the larger ones. Um, I uh, took part in all sorts of challenges, and one of them was to surprise Britain's best mum. And her name was Sheila. And she lived somewhere up in the Wirral, I think, at the time. She's since left the house. It was a lovely gal. And um, so I surprised her on her doorstep. Her son had come in from Hong Kong. And her daughter, Leanne, sadly, was um, suffering at the time with a brain tumour. Something, of course, that will oh, resonate with you, Sherry. And um, I walked in to surprise her. And this was Leanne's idea to set up this surprise. And I walked into her house. And I went, oh, lovely gal, but you might want to rethink the carpet. And, of course, it just came straight out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on live As television. Anyway, she took it in such great spirit. And after we did the hit, she actually sent me <laughs> a oh bit of her carpet. That is frame. hysterical. No. And I have it to brilliant. this day. Yeah, there, 2009, March 2009, um, the whole carpet from Sheila Bright's house in Formby. <laughs> That's what it was, Formby. Oh, so no. they sent us, and do you know what? Um, I, I, I look at this and I remember Leanne fondly and certainly the family, as I say, I'm still in touch with the mum. 
Um, so whilst it's not a photograph, it's in a frame, I treasure it. And it's my firm reminder Aww. on a daily basis that this too shall pass. So whatever we're going through at the moment, we can get through it. That's but lovely. if I come over you to your house, lady, you so might want to lovely. rethink the carpet. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Can I, um, are so you my next? photo? Yes, of course. Oh, oh, okay, my photo. Well, this, I don't know if you can see, but this is um, when I, I did a revival in the 80s or 50s. Me. The lights are reflecting. Bring it closer. Down a bit. Down, down, We've just down. just got crutches at the moment. There we go. There's a bit of, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh! That is hysterical. Now, the thing is, I'm actually wearing bunches today to show you that I haven't really aged in nearly 40 years, You're right? Not at all. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Another one, unchanged. And it was actually backing Lulu and Alvin Stardust, one Brilliant. of my first jobs. Oh. And there's people, Freddie Fingers Lee. I've never heard of him before or since. And <laughs> <laughs> somebody called Yale, I've never heard of before or since. And it was the best. The best time of my life. We used to record it. Oh. We did 18 episodes of this revival of a 50s show, right? Which, which had been, you know, actually been in the 50s. And I was brought up on 50s music because my, all my aunts and uncles yeah, used to dive in the front room. And actually, I was so excited to be in this show. My agent despaired because she wanted me to do serious drama. But I <laughs> insisted and did this for like two years, <laughs> much to her horror. But it was the best time of my life. Oh. We used to go to Pebble Mill to record it, and when Pebble you say Pebble Mill, oh. I love Pebble Mill. Mill. God, it, it takes was, us back. It seriously <laughs> was. With, I mean, it'll have to be our late night show to tell you the things we got up to. But it was the most brilliant time I've ever had in my life. It was. Oh, I loved Alvin Stardust as well. Did you? I he was, mm. Yes, I thought well, he I was. I could fabulous. tell you a couple of things about him, but I won't. I mean, Moving, I, again, on. Later. Moving on. Moving on. Moving <laughs> on. Tell me later. <laughs> let's just Harry let's just fondly yours. remember Pebble Mill. I remember going to Pebble Mill for the first time in oh, and interviewing Anne and Nick. Yes. Anne and Nick. Do you remember that? Oh my yes. goodness. Oh yes, it was fabulous. Shall oh. I show you mine? As yeah, yeah. yeah, go. That phrase. Okay. So <laughs> um, this here, here. Is this is 1957? That's oh. my great grandma, my grandma, oh, oh. my mum, wow. and me. Oh, now my great grandma there, uh, Sissy, she was as a young woman with her mother they, and her father, they lived in the East End and they got a boat to America and she went through Ellis Island and lived in America for a very short time. Her father had an accident and died. She was brought back to London back to the East End. Her mother was left there and she was picked up by some relatives to be a companion. I think her family, uh, the family who, other members of her family made corsets for royalty. So she was just taken away to be a companion. And Sissy was one of the first ladies to ride a bicycle around London. And there was a lot of oh, shock man. with her. And this wow. is my lovely grandma. And that's my lovely grandma Frida. And now this one. Gorgeous. Another four. There's my mum, Gillian my grandma Frida, me and my daughter Flossie. So it's two pictures of four generations wow. of women. Wow. And my mother, and my, my, my grandma Frida, that's her there, um, she also in her 50s got um, a degree. My mother obviously was a, a writer, a well-known writer. And then to have four generations together. That's amazing. When I, I, I look at it every day and it means so much to me to yeah. have had Lovely. that connection and to have known those women and they were so funny and so hysterical and all of them yeah. so strong to have gone through various things that they went through and um it's amazing so uh, it means a lot to wonderful. me that's that's wonderful wonderful all of fabulous. them women of substance fantastic yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely so, debbie darling well I've got, I've got i've got two but just on on yours i just thought that this is Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, oh I that. love that. Divine. So as as you can see, Kira, Kira's got a, a, a pint of beer, and my mother and I have tea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, this was so taken, remains. This, this was that's taken when we, were, when we went when we were skiing, and Kira was about four or five. And and as you know, my mother died, you know, 
very young and, and it's, it breaks my heart. I look at yeah. this picture every day and I love her so much. Uh, but I love that picture of us because it's hilarious. The generational Especially. thing is so the gorgeous, so lovely. But this is the other picture. This, this has oh. got, now if you can see who's on this. Oh, oh Maggie. Maggie. Omar. Omar. No, it's Omar. Omar, Omar Sharif at the back. Oh, oh yes, I can see no. that. I've seen that picture before, Debs Debs. Yeah, Mar that's Mar lovely. Thatcher. The reason I like this picture is that Maggie Thatcher looks like she's bowing to me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, she's she does. So glamorous, uh, darling. And Omar Sharif. And so, when, so I'll just tell you the story behind that picture. I was, at the time I was married to John Chalice, um, you know, who uh, Sherry is actually married to in Benidorm. I am and still, yes. Like, because of the way I, you know, my politics, I did not want to meet Margaret Thatcher. And he said to me, stop being so absolutely stupid. She's coming to the show. She wants to go out for dinner. Forget about politics. She's the first woman prime minister. Meet her. And I went, oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, she came on, on stage and she, she had that picture taken. And Omar standing in the background, which, which I love. It's a play that I was doing in the West End. And then we all went out to dinner with her afterwards. And then we sat down to, at a table. And I was between her and Dennis. And he had his hand on my knee all night, her husband going, oh, you're such a gorgeous young thing. Can you imagine that? Ooh, oh, yes, I can, actually. Ooh. What a dirty rat. Anyway, that is my story of that picture. But but that was it, Me meeting Margaret Thatcher and her oh, bowing oh. me. Wow. That is so fabulous. Yeah, well, you and see. That was the, the, the play that I did in the West End was called The Sleeping Prince with, uh, yeah. with Omar Sharif. But we used, but I've got a lot of stories about him as well, as you can imagine. Oh. <laughs> we need the late night. It's not a show, darling. We do. It's a series. It's we a series. do. Can I just do one more? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. So this is my mum in the 70s with Tony Curtis. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a lovely picture. Now, Tony Curtis absolutely loved her and she loved him and she had a bit of a <clears> thing about him. But if you can see, she's pretending not to be interested. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Wow. I know her so well that she was, but she was like, oh, it's only Tony Curtis. Don't even, you know, don't even look at me, darling. But, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, have a, she didn't have a fling with him, did she, Dee? Probably, but she, you oh. know what? I, yeah, lots of things I found out about my mum that I won't, well, anyway. Hmm. She was a bit of a girl. I have a picture that I can't find of my grandma uh, when I was working with Omar Sharif, with Omar, and she said to me, when I die, only ever have one picture of me, and that is the one that's taken with him. Aww, and that's, that's the it. picture I have up. <laughs> and I can't find it. Anymore. Well, I've got a picture of me in bed with Reg, Ken Morley, on the water oh, bed, but you don't want to see that. That Ooh, is I think I do. You know, I, think I, do. I always remember, he dropped his towel, and oh. that's why I've never been with anybody for 16 years, Richard. I've never forgotten <laughs> that image. <laughs> never. Can't. Ever, it stays ever. with you. It's yeah. stayed in here. I can see it now, the whole thing with the bits and everything. No more description, please. It's never gone out my head, so I, is it, I couldn't show you that. One of my favourite sayings is the last turkey in the shop. And I think perhaps the description of bits and pieces is the last turkey in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> it says it all. Ladies, <laughs> it's On a Saturday morning. Oh, oh, I know. Richard, you have challenged us. Your, your challenges are really amazing. Have you got <laughs> another one? We are going to have our cheese and wine party, but we can't do it until our cheeses arrive. Arrive. That's, That's right. That's going to happen. They are on the way. Apparently, Mr. Mills. My friend Mr. Mills said to me that they will definitely be here in time. One thing I did imbibe this week, and as I say, I only drink often and frequently for my nerves. You know me well enough, ladies. Um, I did yeah. drink um, a lovely bottle of rosé, which was a gift from Wines With Stories, um, who, of yes. course, we featured a couple of weeks ago. And yes. I have to say, it was lovely coiffer. Oh, that, that really, was really thing. lovely. The, the, the rosé. The sparkling rosé was just, uh, in oh, fact, I'm, I'm having that tonight tonight of it last tomorrow. night. Tonight or tomorrow, I can't wait. Yes. It's, 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 like, lovely. it's like pop, and, and that you drink it like pop, and then you, you fall over and you go, <laughs> Yes, that was. And pop. then you go pop. I did That's, it. Why it's That's pop, right. Isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. quite yeah. strong wine. Thank actually. you. Thank <laughs> you very much, Wines with Stories, for our lovely wine. Yes, oh, thank yeah. you. Yes, thank you, Wines with Stories. We love it. We love it.
if the wines if sorry if the cheeses arrive in time next week we'll have a cheese and wine party fabulous <gasps> yes. yes but if they don't arrive in time we'll have to do something else yes and richard when we have our wine and cheese we're going to have little sausages are we yeah little little, little ken morley's yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible horrible you can't call them that <laughs> I think I think on that I think on that we shall see you next week Richard thank you so yes. much God bless you thank you my darling, my darling. Get our sausages ready <laughs>